Competing in professional sport comes with many challenges which, to the casual fan, tend to go under the radar. The professional tennis player, for example, needs to transcend the pressures of constant travel, social drain and both internal and external expectations to succeed on court. But weather conditions may also be a major factor in hampering performance, particularly extreme temperatures. Many tennis tournaments are played in hot weather, which can obviously cause adverse physical reactions, such as increased muscular fatigue, as well as metabolic and muscular strain. But there are psychological hindrances too. Heat has been shown to be a distracting stimulus, which slows cognition and reduces motivation. Studies have demonstrated that a hot environment can decrease athletes' accuracy in any task requiring concentration. If hot playing environments are the source of so many problems for tennis players and reduces the quality of the sport, it's tempting to envision solutions to improve playing conditions. Would moving all professional tournaments to indoor, air-conditioned arenas ensure consistent peak performances from all players, leveling the playing field and therefore generating the sort of quality tennis that entertains spectators? While attractive on the surface, this is perhaps too idealistic. Not only would it be expensive to implement, but it would fundamentally change how the professional game is played. Indoor courts remove the challenge of adapting to all weather conditions, not just the heat, and a level playing field would, perversely, benefit some players over others. Moving the professional game indoors would therefore be counterintuitive. But while it's unrealistic to adapt the tennis environment to cool players down, players could explore both physical and mental strategies to aid them. The most obvious first steps are to ensure appropriate hydration leading up to and during matches, as well as wearing breathable clothing, but preparation is also crucial. Sports physiologist Oliver Gibson of Brunel University suggests any acclimatization period should involve a process of controlled hypothermia. This is achieved by increasing the athlete's core temperature to 38.5 degrees Celsius with 30 minutes of exercise. This body heat is then maintained in a sauna or through light exercise for 30 to 60 minutes and must be supervised by medical experts. As well as physical measures, there are a number of strategies players can use to manage themselves mentally while playing in scorching heat. Research published in 2008 highlighted the benefits of four psychological skills – positive self-talk, mental imagery, goal setting and arousal regulation which increased motor performance during 90-minute trials in a hot environment. Positive self-talk can help tennis players actively reformulate negative statements, such as, I'm tired, or I'm going to stop, it's too hot, into motivational statements like, I can do it, it's not so hot, I can play and win. A study in 2017 using a two-week motivational self-talk intervention showed improvements in endurance capacity, working memory, attention and speed processing in the heat. Sports psychology groups distractions into two categories, external and internal. External distractions are those in one's environment, such as crowd noise and weather conditions. Internal distractions are the unhelpful, distracting thoughts a player might have on court while feeling the heat metaphorically. Literal heat can be filed under external distractions as it's a product of the environment, but it can easily lead to internal distractions if it influences a player's motivation. According to golf psychologist Dr. Gio Valianti, both internal and external distractions can be managed similarly. In the face of external distractions, like hot weather, the key is for the player to take their focus off the distracting stimulus by concentrating on their target and strategy. In tennis, the target is where a player would focus their attention, the ball, their opponent's body language, where they're aiming their serve, and so on. Strategy refers to how a player plans to achieve their goal. Thinking just about one's target and strategy forces a player to keep their thinking simple and therefore shut out distracting thoughts. The less experienced player might be overwhelmed by the heat. This would likely exacerbate internal distractions in the shape of self-doubt and overthinking. The mentally strong player, in contrast, will simply be thinking only about where and how to hit the ball. Instead of their head being occupied by distraction, they keep their mind on track through a useful mantra, target and strategy.